Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day two of our Advent workout. Today is called Abs Attack for the dysgraphia sound. It is a core workout. If you are a beginner, you're going to be doing 30 seconds of work with 30 seconds of rest. If you are more advanced, you're going to be doing 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds of rest, okay? There are eight exercises, so we're going to do an eight minute workout, and trust me, you will feel your abs at the end of this. I'm going to explain the next exercise each time during the rest period, but for the first one, I'm going to explain it before we start, okay? So we're going to be doing leg raises. So if you are a beginner, well, first of all, the one thing that everyone's going to do is have your belly button pulled into your spine. Okay, if you're a beginner, you're going to be focusing on lifting one leg at a time. You really want to be using your lower abs to be lifting the legs, okay? If you're more advanced, you're going to be obviously lifting both legs together, okay? Now, if you're sort of in between and in your core strength differs, I don't want you coming all the way down if your lower back lifts off the floor, okay? You want your back to be flat on the floor at all times. So this means stopping before you reach all the way at the bottom, then so be it, okay? I'd rather you keep your back flat and your core engaged. Um, and that is basically it. The other thing I'm just gonna point out for, except for the 100, which will be one of our third exercises, sorry, uh, which will be our third exercise, you can choose whether you have your head down or up. So lying on the mat or up, okay? That's your choice. Um, I prefer to have it up for a lot as it helps me keep my back flat on the floor, but for some people that strains their neck. So it is really up to you. So we're going to start the first workout, leg raises. I'm going to start off with the beginner version. So in three, two, one, off we go. So core engaged, belly button pulled in, and using your lower abs to lift the legs, okay? Trying to keep the legs nice and straight, okay? Off we go. Beginners, you have done 15 seconds, which means you've only got 15 seconds left. Okay, so really focusing on using the lower core to lift it up. You can have your hands below your back if that feels more comfortable. Okay, so just hang them slightly under. Beginners, stop there. Everyone else, you have 10 more seconds. Okay, before going into oblique crunches, that will be our next exercise. So five seconds left. Three, two, one. Okay, next up we have oblique crunches. So this is gonna be hands just slightly behind your head. Okay, not pulling on your neck. You're gonna have your legs up and you're gonna be going opposite elbow to opposite knee, okay? Keeping your core really nice engaged, head control. Beginners, you could do one side at a time. So we're gonna be doing one elbow to knee. I'm doing it with you now for the first 15 seconds and then at the half mark, we're going to swap over. So three, two, one. Beginner swap over to the other leg, okay? Keeping it nice and controlled. If you are doing the more advanced, both together, as I said, keep it nice and controlled. We don't want any of this rushing motion. Really focusing on getting the oblique engaged with every motion, okay? Five. Three, two, one, stopping there, okay? Next up we have the hundreds. So for this, you are gonna have your neck up, you're gonna have your legs up, and you're gonna be in this crunch sort of position. You're gonna have your hands out the side, you're gonna breathe in and pulse for five, and then breathe out and pulse for five, okay? So beginners, 30 seconds, off we go. So up, breathe in, two, three, breathe out. You have five seconds left. So keep pulsing those arms. Three, two, one. Beginners stopping there. Everyone else, we have 15 more seconds before we have our scissor leg in, leg out. Okay? Okay. Everyone else, we have five more seconds. Three, two, one. And everyone's stopping there. Okay. So the next exercise is going to be a center position, except you can have your head down or up, whichever you want. And you're going to be bringing the leg out and meeting your little back in before the other leg going out. If you're a beginner, like the oblique crunch, we will be doing one leg at 
at a time. So off we go. So leg coming out, leg coming in. Really focusing once again on your lower abs, pulling your belly button into the spine. Okay, keeping your back flat on the mat. Okay, beginners, you're going to be swapping legs over to the other side. Okay, leg in, leg out. Okay, keep breathing. Anyone else? Bringing both legs, one leg out, moving the other leg, other leg up. Beginners, stop there. Everyone else, last 15 seconds. Keep breathing. Five, three, two, one, and stop in there. Okay, next up we have a side plank. So, beginners, you can be on your knees. You can have your legs bent or you can, okay? More advanced, you will have your legs out and up. And even more advanced than that, you can have as a starfish. So, off we go. Beginners, just focus on one side. If you can, being up on your feet, you want your elbow in line with your shoulder, okay? And if you are more advanced, you can raise the leg. But beginners, that is 15 seconds done, okay? Keep breathing, everyone. We've got 20 seconds left for advanced. Beginners, three, two, one, stopping there. Everyone else, we are now on our last 10 seconds, okay? So keep breathing, obliques engaged. Five, four, three, two, one, and resting there. Obviously the next exercise is going to be the exact same on the other side, okay? So beginners, remember you can have your knees bent. Everyone else, legs, elbow in line with the shoulder. Off we go. So, as I said, with this arm, you can have it on your hip, up in the air. Remember, beginners, you can have knees bent and just focusing on this part of your body, okay? Just try to make sure your knees are in line with your hips. Okay, beginners, you have 10 more seconds. Five more seconds, which means everyone else, we've got 20 seconds left. Okay, beginners, stop in there. Everyone else, 15 seconds. Keep breathing. Try to remember to breathe in and out. Okay. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and stopping there. Okay, next exercise is a dead bug. Okay, so for beginners, opposite arm, opposite leg. More advanced, you can have both arms, both legs. Okay, three, two, one, off we go. Belly button pulls in. So it's fine, keeping the core nice and engaged. Opposite hand to opposite leg. Go back together, come back together. Go back together, come back together. If you're more advanced, both can come together. Okay, beginners, you have five more seconds. Beginners, stop in there. Everyone else, we are on our last 15 seconds. And then we are ending with a V-sit. Okay, last five seconds. Three, two, and stopping there, breathing. So V-sit is what we did in yesterday's workout, okay? So remember, you can have your hands down by the side. The closer your legs are in, the easier it is. The further out, the harder it is. And you can also have your legs off. So off we go. Balancing, I don't really want you to hold your legs because it does make it easier, rather than you have your hands on the floor. Remember, the closer in your legs are, the easier it is, the further out, the harder it is, okay? So beginners, that is 15 seconds done. Keep breathing. Remember to keep your belly button pulled into your spine. Really keeping that core engaged, it's all core work today. Okay, 15 more seconds. Oh, sorry, that might begin to stop there. <laughs> Last 10 seconds for everyone else. Five, three, two, one, and stopping there. Brilliant work. That is your day two workout. See you tomorrow.